The reason I get fired up about this section, it's the number one mistake across North America. And it drives the callbacks we monitor at 1-800-AIR-VENT. It's not exhaust, it's intake. Well, what's going wrong with intake? For starters, flat out, not enough. Not enough. Next, okay, they got enough. They appear to have enough, I counted them. But inside the attic, somebody blocked the intake vents with the insulation. It's not my problem, I'm the roofer. I don't do insulation. Time out. You took money for a brand new roof and functioning exhaust vents. The functioning exhaust vents have an install sheet that says they won't work without intake. If you're not doing an attic inspection, charge. Charge for your time if you must. You should at least tell them you better go into the attic and make sure your intake is working. I don't know if it's working and I won't be looking. That kind of conversation has to happen. Drop in some insulation baffles. That'll clear it out. Charge for your time. We see painted over soffit. I didn't do the paint job. No, you didn't do the paint job. But in your walk around to give them a price for a new roof, you spotted the painted over soffit. Don't be quiet about it. Paul's roofing is going to bring it up. And for X dollars, I know someone who can fix it or my team will fix it. But you got to talk about it. We see vents in place and nobody cut the hole. And we're not going to know if we didn't probe. We tell homeowners all the time, you want to know if you got functioning intake? Pop your head in the attic during daylight and you should see daylight inside the attic as you look around the perimeter. Is the hole properly cut for the vent in place? 